Hey everybody. Today I'm revisiting a data set that's probably familiar to you if you've uh, done a little bit of work in R, a little bit of learning in R, and that's the Star Wars data set. This is included in the dplyr package that loads up with tidyverse, so I've already done library tidyverse. I've set my ggplot theme to minimal. I prefer that to the basic uh, gray background. I'm going to do at least one plot in this vid, and I'm going to open up the Star Wars data set. So this includes um, 87 rows. Each one is a character in one of the Star Wars movies. And this includes the first seven mainline movies up through and including The Force Awakens, but none of the shows and nothing more recent. We have 14 total variables, columns, including things like eye color, skin color, home world species. And if you've done a little bit of elementary data wrangling practice with this set, you probably just completely ignored these last three columns. Films, vehicles, and starships. And the reason that you maybe ignored them when you were first getting started is that each one of these columns is a list. You can see, for instance, that for films, each of these characters could have been in more than one film, and so each cell here is going to actually be a vector. We can see that if we just glimpse this data set. Let's do that really quickly. Let's glimpse Star Wars, which I will probably misspell throughout this vid. You can see that those last three columns are all lists. So what I would like to do is to take this set and modify it so that I um, don't have this list under the films column. I would like to be able to see a row for Luke Skywalker in A New Hope, and then another room, another row rather, for Luke Skywalker in The Empire Strikes Back, and so on. All right, so um, I'm gonna call this, uh, how about star, oh, before I do anything else, I'm gonna select out some columns because right now it's just too wide and I'm gonna be scanning back and forth, it's not gonna be any fun. So let's make this Star Wars small and I'm gonna get it by taking the Star Wars data set and piping it into a select command. And the only columns I want to keep are name, I want to keep films, vehicle, films with an M, vehicles, vehicles, and uh, starships. And I think I've got all those variables correct. No errors, that's a good sign. Okay, so that'll be a much more narrow data set, and that'll make things a little bit more readable. So uh, what I want to do, as I said a second ago, is to sort of unpack this films variable. And I'm going to save the result as, how about SW films? Limit my typing a little bit, fewer opportunities for error. I'm going to take Star Wars small, and the main tool I'm going to be using in this vid is the unnest command. And the unnest command, which I believe is in the tidier package in the tidyverse, is going to do exactly what we want here, which is that it's going to unpack a list column. And so I'm going to get one row per element of each of these vectors. Um, in addition to the data set, I need to let unnest know what column I'm interested in. In this case, it's films. So let's take a view on SW films. So you can see we now have five rows for Luke Skywalker, one for each of the five movies that he had been in um, as of the time this movie was shot. So um, before I do any other examples or anything more sophisticated with the unnest command, let's take advantage of this data set that we have and, uh, and get a visualization. I'd like to kind of see maybe like a bar chart of the most popular, not the most popular, but the characters that have had the most appearances. So um, I think what I want to do is I want to take SW films. Let's just start by getting an answer on that, like who's been in the most films. You know, kind of quiz your Star Wars knowledge. Who do you think has been in the most of those most of those first seven movies? Hint: It's not Luke Skywalker. And uh, what I want to do with SW Films is I just want to count on the films variable. Oh wait, that's the number of characters in each of them. I want to count on the name variable. So this is going to tell me how many rows in this SW Films data set have each of those names. And in this case, you can see, for instance, Akbar was in two, Anakin was in three. They're counting Anakin and Darth Vader separately. All right, so um, that's not really all I want. I want to see which ones are most popular, so I'm going to also do an arrange on this, and I'll do it negative n, so it's going to go from the top down. You could also do desc parenthesis n. That works as well. All right, so the answer is that R2-D2 is in all seven of the movies that are included in this data set. 
followed by C-3PO and Obi-Wan Kenobi, both of whom were in six. So um, let's see here. Let's actually get a plot on this. Let's do SW Films. And again, let's pipe it into count by name. And uh, then the thing that I want to do, I, I don't want to have 77 rows, 77 bars in my chart. So what I want to do is I'm going to filter this so that N is greater than, how about greater than or equal to 3? Let's try that and see how that looks. And then let's go ahead and do the ggplot. I don't usually pipe into my ggplots, but here I think I'm going to. I don't really need to save this set intermediate in an intermediate way. And what I'm going to want is I'm going to want my name on the y-axis and I'm going to want my count on the x-axis. So it's going to be a horizontal bar chart, x equals n. And since I'm specifying two aesthetics here, it's geome call. And let's just see how that looks. And I'll zoom in on that. Okay, so it came out. It's... um not perfect by any stretch. I'm going to go back and change it so that I only have the characters that were in at least four movies. That's a small issue. The other thing that I really want to do here is to have this ordered so that the tall, the widest bars are on top. So it starts with R2-D2 and then after that goes to Obi-Wan Kenobi and C-3PO. So um, I'm going to change my filter to a greater than or equal to four. And now what I want to do is to change the name variable, which is a factor variable, technically character, but it's being treated as factor. And since I want to change a column, it's going to be a mutate command. And I want to take the name variable and uh, I want to do a factor reorder on it. So basically change the orders of the factor. And I'm going to refactor the, the name variable and I want to sort it by n. All right, so hopefully this is going to be what, I look, what I'm looking for. Ah, so I made a mistake here. It should be name equal factor reorder name comma n. I'm trying to figure out what I did wrong here. Could not find the fact function factor order because it's factor reorder. There we go. And if I zoom in on this, I get exactly what I want. Obviously, there's a lot I could do to make this plot nicer. I could add some Star Wars themed color to it, change the labels, put in a clever title. I'm going to move on right now. Um, Let's go on over and look at the ships variable, at the, um, the starships variable. So I'm going to unpack this the same way I did with the films, but it's going to look a little different, and I want to point that out. So how about Star Wars ships? And I'm going to take Star Wars small, and again, pipe it into an unnest. But now I'm going to unnest along the um, starships variable. There we go. And let's just take a look at it. All right, so there it is. You can see that the starships have now been unpacked. So for instance, Luke Skywalker has flown the X-Wing and an Imperial shuttle. Another Star Wars trivia quiz is to think about uh, which movie and, and in what capacity he flew an Imperial shuttle. All right, the reason I really am doing this and want to point it out is that uh, for starships now, um, we have... Wait, wrong, wrong variable, wrong data set. There we go. For the SW ships data set now, the um, data set now only has 31 entries, 31 rows, and our original data set had 87, so this is substantially fewer. And um, the reason is, I guess I should not have closed that uh, Star Wars small window. Where is it? Well, I'll just open up Star Wars. Um, a lot of these characters never flew ships, and so we've got these character zeros. So, for instance, uh, C-3PO never flew a ship, so he's left out of this data set, the Star Wars ships data set. Now, for some purposes, that's really great. You only want to have the characters that actually, actually flew, flew um, starships. For others, it's potentially a problem. You've thrown away a lot of data, so now we now have a data set that doesn't include, for instance, C-3PO. So... Sometimes missing data is really important, and you just don't want to throw it away right away. So um, the unnest command, and maybe I'll go ahead and pull up the help file on that so that we can see it. The unnest command has some optional arguments, and the one I want to highlight right now is keep empty. So that's just saying if you've got an NA, for instance, 
I just accidentally closed that again, sorry. Just open that up again. I wanted to look at it. So if, for instance, you've got no data under this thing, just don't throw it away. Still give me a row. A row. So let's add to our unnest command uh, keep empty equals true. So don't throw away that missing data, please. And now you can see C3PO has, for starships, an NA. Just kind of like what we will, well, exactly what, what, exactly what we would want. The last thing I want to do is to unnest two different columns at the same time. And there are two different ways to do this, and I want to point them both out, even if one of them isn't fully appropriate here. So let's take S, or let's take the Star Wars sm small again. And uh, let's save it this time as uh, SW long. And I'm going to take Star Wars small, and I'm going to pipe it into an unnest command. And this time I want to unnest along two columns, vehicles and starships. And so what I'm envisioning is that for every, or for Luke Skywalker, I'm going to have a row for different combinations of vehicles and starships. Turns out there's two different ways we can do this. The first one um, is to put both of them inside the unnest command. And let me just show what happens when I when I do that. So I want to unnest both starships and vehicles. Vehicles. There it is. And I believe I'm going to get an error here. Yeah. So it's trying to recycle inputs and finding out that the the lengths are incompatible. When you use this syntax, what unnest is trying to do is for every value in this name column, it is attempting to get the same number of rows from vehicles from vehicles and from starships. So it would ex if it has um, two starships, it's also expecting two vehicles. So my data set doesn't have that structure. The, the vectors that are in each of these columns or sometimes data frames that are in each of these columns, in this case, are not the same length. They would have to be. So just put a comment, error, um, vectors aren't the same length. And as usual, I'll put my code up on GitHub so you can look at it there. I'll put a link to that down below. What I actually am trying to do here is um, to unnest separately along each of those variables. And so I want to do unnest starships followed by an unnest on the vehicles. And now that should work. Let's just take a look at it as we wrap up. All right, so now you can see I have four rows for Luke Skywalker. I have two different starships um, with the, each of the two different vehicles. So I guess in that case, it was the same number of each, but there's plenty of examples here where they, they are different. For instance, for Obi-Wan, um, we have only one vehicle, but five, di five different starships. Okay, so that's a quick start on the unnest command and how to unnest these list columns that you have in the, in the Star Wars data set.